Well, it, it seems to be, and in fact, while this was more theory than fact for many years, I think some of the newer high-tech uh, methods of identifying the microbial population in the gut uh, is now actually showing that patients who have multiply recurrent Clostridium difficile infection have a totally uh, different uh, bacterial population in their uh, stool than do normal people, and that it's characterized by a marked decrease in the diversity of the species present. And therefore, it would make sense that if you uh, performed a uh, massive bacterial replacement, uh, that that might very well reverse the, uh, that condition and allow cure in people who otherwise were not curable. Uh, we uh, attempted to contact uh, all patients who had undergone uh, fecal microbiota transplantation at least three months prior to our study uh, origination. Uh, we devised a really detailed 36-item uh, questionnaire that went through all sorts of uh, pre-treatment as well as post-treatment issues. And uh, I guess to sum it up, uh, we found that uh, the primary cure rate in these patients who had on average been ill for 11 months and had on average failed five prior uh, treatments uh, courses for the disease uh, responded rapidly. Uh, we had 91% uh, of them had cessation of diarrhea with no recurrence within 90 days post-treatment. Uh, that the um, uh, response was quite sustained and, and over the mean period of observation of 17 months post uh, fecal transplantation, uh, nobody got a recurrence who didn't require antibiotics for some other infection at some point following the treatment. So I think those would probably be the, the, key, uh, the key issues. And, and probably also universality of response. And by that I mean that we didn't identify any subgroup of these folks who were not responders. So it wasn't that the people who had the worst diarrhea before treatment didn't respond or the most weight loss or whatever. There was no subgroup who we could say this didn't work yet. Right. So for the medical writers in the audience, there seems to be this kind of ick factor. You're talking about transplanting stool. What, what did your patients think about that? Well, uh, I guess, uh, you know, they're desperate people seeking okay. desperate measures, so there's not as much of a problem with it. Um, I think that, uh, and these folks are going to be much more uh, uh, able to speak on this issue. Uh, I'm just a low-tech guy. These, these folks are high-tech people. But, uh, you know, we clearly have to stop thinking about stool as just a smelly, inert substance. It is an incredibly biologically active substance. And, uh, and, and I think there's going to be an explosion in knowledge in this, in this area in the next 10 to 20 years.